Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today held a telephone call with the U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd J. Austin III. During the call, the U.S. Secretary of Defense expressed the United States of America's gratitude to the Kingdom of Bahrain for supporting relief efforts and the safe transit of U.S. citizens and evacuees from Afghanistan. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister also reviewed the latest regional and international issues of common interest with the U.S. Secretary of Defense, including the latest developments in Afghanistan. Strategic relations between the two countries were also discussed, including the importance of reinforcing efforts to support regional security and stability. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Hassan Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the Bahrain Victorious Cycling Team continued to rise to the podium reflects the team's position in foreign participations and their keenness to continue achieving goals and promoting Bahrain in European events. His Highness expressed pleasure on the team cyclist Damiano Caruso's victory in the ninth round of the Volta race held in Spain, indicating that this victory affirmed the team's high capabilities and distinctive vision that contribute to its permanent presence on podiums. He affirmed that the team possesses cyclists, technicians and administrative staff with high capabilities. His Highness also expressed pleasure with seeing Bahrain's name in European forms and the keenness to support the team in upcoming forms, wishing them all success. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, the BOC, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the president of the Bahrain Collegiate Athletics Association, Dr. Sheikh Sagir bin Salman Al Khalifa, the president of the Cricket Bahrain Association, and the president of the Bahrain Gymnastics Federation, Manaf Al Ani. The meeting was attended by deputy president of the GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the C. CEO of the GSA, Dr. Abdurrahman Asker. The meeting comes in line with His Highness's keenness on supporting sports federations to further develop the performance of national players. His Highness welcomed the attendees, affirming the role of federations and associations in achieving the aspirations and goals of its affiliates. He reviewed the future programs and plans of the federations, affirming the importance of intensifying efforts and establishing strong national teams. For their part, the guests expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid, hailing His Highness's efforts for the development of the sports movement in the kingdom. Since its establishment, the Supreme Council for Women has been working on formulating a national plan to empower Bahraini women, whereby Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, has led the national efforts to achieve their royal aspirations towards empowering women and promoting their contributions to society. In 2019, the SCW launched the National Gender Balance in Future Sciences Initiative, which was based on the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Council affirmed the importance of this initiative, which serves as an organizational tool that ensures the participation of women in the field of sciences. The initiative targets all Bahraini women at all ages and is concerned with the field of education, the foundation of which is establishing a generation that is capable of innovation and of paving the way towards economic and social development. The initiative is based on six pillars that the Council aims to implement through effective partnership with all sectors from both the public and private sectors and the institutions of civil society. The pillars are legislation, policies, laws, strategies and institutional and administrative frameworks necessary to encourage creativity and innovation. The mechanisms for preparing the initiatives are to monitor and evaluate national efforts, initiatives and projects, measure indicators of women 
women's presence is in the promising scientific fields that characterize Bahraini women through the skills they acquired in educational institutions, compare national efforts and initiatives with international efforts, and view global practices to find opportunities that contribute to the development of the national infrastructure to be more supportive of the advancement of Bahraini women. The SCW has worked on linking the National Gender Balance in Future Sciences Initiative with the 2030 Agenda and the goals of sustainable development within the framework of the Council's keenness to harmonize its plans and programs with national visions and international action plans and to complete and complement what Bahrain has taken in terms of clear steps to achieve these goals that are directly and indirectly related to women empowerment. Since the establishment of the Supreme Council for Women, it has made many important achievements that contributed to empowering Bahraini women in line with every stage of development in Bahrain. And to speak about this, we are joined on the phone by member of the Supreme Council for Women, Engineer Maryam Jum'an. Hello, Engineer Maryam. It's an honor to have you here with us today. Now, the Supreme Council for Women is home for women's affairs as experts and has made numerous initiatives and awards throughout the past 20 years. Can you tell us more about Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa's award for women advancements and how it contributed to increasing women empowerment? Thank you, Sarah, and thank you for having me. And allow me first to take this opportunity to extend my sincere congratulations to Her Royal Highness, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King of Bahrain, President of the Supreme Council for Women and all Council members, on the Supreme Council for Women's 20th anniversary. Now, as you know, the Council continues to serve its mandate and its objectives 20 years post its establishment. As an institution that monitors the status of women, um, it proposes the necessary policies to maintain and further develop the advancement of women at a national level. Now, if we look at the numbers in Bahrain, Bahraini women today represent 55% of employees in the government sector, 46% are specifically in executive positions. In the private sector, 35% and 34% are in administrative and supervisory positions. Bahraini women are also active as business owners at 43%, women own 50% of virtual businesses, and 39% of exporters to international markets are women. So the numbers speak for themselves in terms of how much Bahraini women have advanced in the past 20 years. So the purpose behind the establishment of the Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa Award for the advancement of Bahraini women has been to continue highlighting these national efforts and to support the advancement of Bahraini women by ensuring, for example, that institutional policies are not gender biased, by developing the presence and effectiveness of Bahraini women in various sectors, and in general, supporting their advancement through work-life balance initiatives um, and enacting the required policies. So what the award does is that it monitors the status of women in the participating institutions by monitoring specific criteria and KPIs, so for example, you have employment, training, promotions, mainstreaming of women's needs in the workplace, and adopting budgets that are sensitive to the needs of women. And what we've seen over the past 15 years 
that the award has been in place is that we've witnessed an increase in the percentage of participation in the award uh, by the relevant sectors, the public and the private, as well as an improvement in the performance of the institutions over time. And what has made 2019 quite unique was the addition of two more categories to the award, and it included uh, civil society institutions and individual participants. Mm -hmm. And how does the support of the United Nations to the award support your efforts internationally? Yeah, so we're very proud of the fact that UN Women has decided to benefit from Bahrain's expertise in women empowerment and was willing to uh, conduct a global edition of this national award periodically. And this has certainly put Bahrain on the global map for its efforts and expertise. Um, it has been an opportunity to showcase and highlight what has been done in Bahrain, both at a national, institutional, and individual level. And having witnessed the success and fact of the first round of the global awards and seen the impact it has made to those who have won and even those who have applied, uh, we are pleased that applications to the award in its second round is now open and institutions from all over the world can compete once again to win this prestigious award. Mm -hmm. Um, Engineer Miriam, one of the most important initiatives is Bahraini Women's Day on December the 1st of every year. And this year's theme is Bahraini Women in National Development. How do you value public interaction to this initiative? Yeah, so uh, Bahraini Women's Day is an annual occasion celebrated by Bahrain um, to recognize the achievements of Bahraini women. And normally each year a specific sector is chosen to be highlighted and celebrated. Uh, but since this year, the Supreme Council for Women is celebrating its 20th anniversary, it was decided that under the patronage of His Majesty the King, this occasion would recognize Bahraini women in development in general. Mm -hmm. So it would be a representation of all her contributions within the national economy and at the national level. So 2021 will be a year where all the sectors, whether in the public, private, or civil society institutions, come together to showcase what women have been able to accomplish over the last 20 years. And it will showcase what Bahrain has been able to accomplish in its support for all women under the guidance and consultation with the Supreme Council for Women. Um, inshallah, it will be a celebration of the culmination of efforts by the SCW that have been 20 years in the making. Well, that's amazing. And that was the member of the Supreme Council for Women, Engineer Miriam Jamal. Thank you very much for joining us. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,133,403 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,077,833 had taken the second, and 238,307 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 979 with 133 recoveries and 97 registered new cases. 23 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 56 are contact affected cases and 18 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.